so we just got my car wash like a little bit ago and that's what you guys just saw. Now we are at Chick-fil-A right now. So I got the four piece chicken strips right here. And for some reason, I feel like every time I go to Chick-fil-A, I realize this, I'm like, they don't offer a not like a big enough option. That's what she said. Or he said. I feel like they should offer like eight of these. And then we got the fries right here, we got a lemonade. And then after this, we are gonna head over to the Walmart, which is literally right next door, and pick up a bunch of foods, show you guys some good foods for muscle building while you're cutting or while you're bulking. So we're gonna head over there right now and do that. So we just got back from the grocery store right now and I'm actually really pumped to show you guys what I got. I kind of grouped things up into different sections like snacks, proteins, carbs, like that type of thing. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into it. I just wanna say the reason why I do these continual grocery hauls are to show you guys that you can have variety in your foods and there's so many different foods that I get all the time. I eat out a lot. So I feel like you guys can always benefit from, you know, getting some, some new food options or new perspectives on how you view food or just what you can fit in your macros and that type of thing. So that's why I continue to do these videos. If you guys like these videos and let me know down below, I always say that, but I really read the comments guys. And so when you guys give me good positive feedback, I like to do things over again to give you guys some good content. I hate when I like a YouTuber and they don't film the type of content that I want to see from them. Anyways, we're going to get into this right now. So let's just, let's just jump into it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna start out with is spices and proteins. Now, first thing I wanna say is you can see, I have a bunch of different protein sources, which is what I like to do, especially while I'm bulking. So right here, we have some steak, just some good quality steak. We have some brats, some bratwurst. A bratwurst? We have the bratwurst, and we also have 93.7 lean ground beef right here. And then we just have some chicken breast, three chicken breasts. And the reason why I don't like to get a lot of meat at one time is because I like it to be extremely fresh. So this is pretty much like how much meat I'll get whenever I do go to the grocery store because you guys don't want to stock too much on meat and you're going to have to freeze it and it's just going to suck. You're going to have to dethaw it. It's not going to taste as good. So always make sure you get stuff fresh. And now I hope you guys can see this pretty good. These right here are the spices that I just picked up today. So let me show you guys. We got garlic powder. Come on, let's get some sunlight. Garlic powder right here. It's just basic. We have some Worcestershire Pub Burger by Grillmates. And guys, this stuff is really, really good on burgers or steak, but I don't really know how it would be on chicken, to be honest. Then I got beer can chicken sauce right here. Got some New Orleans Cajun seasoning as well. We have Montreal chicken seasoning, and then we have a lemon garlic seasoning. So I'm gonna get back to you guys in a future video and let you guys know how I like these spices right here because I kind of switched it up. The one that I do love, absolutely love and recommend for your chicken is the Grillmates right here. So I guess it's like McCormick Grillmates and it's called Hickory Smoked Chicken. That stuff is probably the best. So if you guys are going to get some of this stuff and you guys have it at your local store, Hick <laughs> Hickory Smoked Chicken is probably the best one. Okay, so right here we have Arizona tea, we have some white monsters, and then we also have some Lipton green tea. The reason why I like sugary drinks like the Arizona and the Lipton tea are because, guys, when you're trying to hit like 4,000 calories a day or 4,500 calories a day, or for you, maybe even 3,000 calories, it sometimes gets really repetitive eating pasta and rice and bagels just repetitively, like those types of things. So. I like to incorporate in some, some sugary drinks because one, it helps you get quick carbs, and two, they're very fast acting carbs, so they can help fill your glycogen up. You can do it post-workout, you can do it pre-workout. You guys used to see Chris Jones, used to drink a Gatorade after his workout all the time. I'll sometimes drink a Lipton iced tea or just some regular iced tea. And then also, we obviously got the White Monsters. You guys already know what those are for, pre-workout. I love them pre-workout, so I'm not even gonna get into that. Now we're gonna get into some of the snacks I enjoy on a daily basis. So for the snacks, guys, we got some different kind of muffins. We got chocolate, blueberry, and corn muffins. We have bagels, and then 
for these bagels guys we have two spreads right here this is called dark chocolate dreams yes it sounds wrong but it is what it is and then right here we have biscoff cookie butter got i guys if you've never tried biscoff like i can't even i can't even speak if you guys have never tried biscoff you need to leave your house wherever you are located on the planet leave where you are go to your local store that has biscoff make sure they have it call ahead and pick you up about 40 bottles of it and you guys will back me later then another thing i like a lot a lot a lot probably too much is popcorn so we just got is this 12 bag damn you got 12 bags in here this is super cheap so we just got the orville redenbacher popcorn i'm pretty sure this one has like some trans fat in it like it's horrible for you but I try not to eat like too many of them a week. So it's, what can I say? Now, this is something I also really, really, really wanted to show you guys. So right here we have the uh, Barilla Protein Plus Penne Pasta. So as you can see guys, 17 grams of protein per serving of this pasta. So it doesn't come in huge boxes, at least from, at my grocery store, but it's super cheap. So I pick up like three or four at a time. Really good meal to get a bunch of protein is some lean ground beef and then you basically just and throw some red sauce in the pan as well so you have like a meat sauce and then put it on top of this pasta you can get like if you do that twice a day that's super cheap meal right there and that's probably going to be 120 grams of protein uh between the two meals and then on top of some protein shakes and stuff you might not even have to swallow some dry ass chicken boom so that is a huge carb source of mine the second biggest carb source of mine is rice. Now right here I have jasmine rice because I really like this with some butter, some garlic salt. But guys, really, when it comes to rice, I mean, you can get whatever rice that you guys personally like. I mean, there's white rice, there's brown rice. I believe white rice uh, and probably jasmine rice digest a little bit faster. I know white rice does uh, compared to brown rice. So white rice is a really good pre-workout meal. Or if you guys have a really hard time digesting food sometimes, then yeah, white rice is really good because you'll digest it way quicker than brown rice. So keep that as a mental note. All right, another thing I want to say really quick is there's not too much fats right here. What I like to do for my fats mainly is obviously I have eggs here. So I use egg for a big source of fat. I use avocados for a huge source of fat. And then I also, with my meats, I usually cook them with butter or olive oil. So with eating a lot of meat, like a lot of uh, ground beef or sausage and things like that in my bulk, that's pretty much where, you know, most of my fat is coming from. It's from meat. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Now we are going to get into some of the uh, micronutrients of the of the grocery haul, the most boring part, but not really, because I actually, I actually really do like fruit. So what I've been doing lately is using stuff like this right here, this mixed fruit. We have pineapple, strawberry, peach, and mangoes in there. And then I have a full bag of strawberries and a full bag of blueberries. And then I also just got a bunch of bananas and I kind of forgot to say, um, I eat these as a snack as well, or I'll throw them in with a smoothie with some of this stuff right here. I usually use milk. Sometimes I'll throw in a protein scoop with my fruit shakes, or you can throw in really anything you guys want. A really, really good way to get your micronutrients in is to actually have a fruit smoothie. Maybe, th I cannot speak. Maybe throw some spinach into it or just some greens into it to get some extra good, clean greens in your diet because if you guys are like me, then it's it's kind of hard for you to get your micros in because you just don't think about it often. But throwing them into like a really tasty uh, shake can actually really help you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment right here and you guys took some from it. If you guys have any questions about specific foods or if you should be eating them on a cut or a bulk or, or something along those lines, just comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out to the best of my ability. Um, right now, I'm going to pack all this food up into the fridge and stuff like that. Probably make some protein type of a meal because I haven't had too much protein today besides that Chick-fil-A. Then we're going to head over to the gym later. We're going to kill a push workout. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to bring you guys through the entire workout. Might go super heavy on bench. Not sure yet. I have to check my program, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. On this package, right? I don't want to get your hopes up, but it says O-N-Y-X, which means Onyx. You guys, I mean, if you guys follow Gymshark, I hope you guys know Onyx Line 1 and Onyx Line 2. Onyx Line 1 was like one of the first things that I ever got from Gymshark to try on. One of the most iconic lines ever. Hold on one sec, I'm gonna go get Onyx V1 right now. All right, I'm back. So this is the Onyx V1, the first Onyx to ever come out. It came out with, they came out with, sorry, these hoodies. Um, they had a little hood on the, hood on the back, a t-shirt, and then also I believe like a, a 
tank top type deal. So right now we're gonna open this package up and see this is going to be the Onyx V3, but it's not called V3, it's actually called, like they have different names for them. So yeah, it's just Onyx Imperial. So yeah, let's get into this right now. I wanna look at this stuff. Okay, so these right here are the Onyx, let me tell you right now. Okay, so these are the Onyx Imperial leggings. And my lord, these look nice. Hold on, look at these guys. They're, these are gray right here. Super nice, clean material. Wow, it just looks elegant, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys this in better light. Really clean material. It says Gymshark up here on the waistband. Nice, clean material. Let's check out the other stuff. Okay, so I'm, I, I hope you guys can see this right now. It's basically got like a little pattern on it on the shirt. You guys can probably see that. It's the same material as the leggings. And then also it has like some sticky material down here. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is just super dope quality. Then it has like the rubber Gymshark logo right here, which is absolutely clean AF. And the rubber ones, guys, from uh, my... Previous experiences with gym sharks never peel off. Like some of the labels peel off, this this will never peel off. They also came out with a recreation of the Onyx hoodie, guys. Right here, this is this is going to be the uh, the Onyx Imperial hoodie, and all I can say is wow. It's got the same type of design as the other, uh, as the pants basically and the tank. But guys, this just looks so clean, and the material is just absolutely. It's honestly mind blowing. Like if I if I feel my first Onyx compared to this, this just feels like more sweat absorbent. It feels lighter. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym, and then we're gonna head out. Gonna go hit that push day. Let's go kill it. Yeah. Yeah. I am a menace, living my life by the day. Kill everything in my way, straight to the top, living like I moved the yay. Wishing this beat was from yay, but it is me, F to the E R and G. Nobody got it like me, nobody sounded like he. Church, speed, murk, Zeus in this bitch, nigga, preach. Party hard, live life, yeah. College had a nigga on dick. Graduate, come on, nigga, still out of luck, nigga, looking for a check. And that's that nerve. nerve. Nigga feel that curve. Nerve. And don't trust that bird. Nerve. Niggas live in alert. Ay. Ay. Look around, mama still gone. Uh. Gotta get it, bring it, mama home. Uh. Still got a couple hits though. Yeah. Uh. That's why I write them out on every song. Uh. The levels are woke. Oh, oh. Me and my music are low. Yeah. My niggas been doing the most. The most. Zeus and no white like the old. And I see them. The money been calling. The money been calling and knocking, I see him. The money been calling me. The money been calling and knocking, I see him. The money been calling. The money been calling and knocking, I see him. The money been calling. Living like I just got 21 pounds. Or 21 pounds. 21 pounds. 21 pounds. Or 21 pounds. Or 21 pounds. 21 pounds. Or 21 pounds. Or 21 pounds. Steady scheming, the rookie of the year, nigga really beaming. They tell a nigga quit when they really mess up to the most high. Can you dig it? The world turn, I'm in the booth with some hoes spitting. Look around, tell me the work and get those digits. Wet by sipping that syrup, I'm big critting. Third eye, young and been switching this flow, working, I giving it go. Reason why all of these hoes giggle. The way I work it out in the middle, burning through the money, let it sizzle. Hot girl, leeching every way. Wrap it up, nigga Reynolds. She making money on the booty pole. Turn it up just a little. Can I see him? The money been calling. The money been calling and knocking. I see him. The money been calling me. The money been calling and knocking. I see him. The money been calling me. The money been calling and knocking. I see him. The money been calling. Living like I just got 21 pounds. Or 21.